Hello and welcome to an e-demo of the brand new features of Victor 4.5. The first thing we're going to take a look at is the brand new Unified Installer Dashboard which offers an intuitive way to install American Dynamics products, Software House products and also a Secure and Victor Unified system. Because I only want to install Victor at this stage I'm going to choose American Dynamics and then Next and you can see that I'm presented with three options. I can choose to install Victor Application Server along with Victor Client, just Victor Unified Client, or Victor Express. I can also at this stage choose to install SQL Server Express 2012. I'm going to go ahead and choose Application Server along with Client and also SQL. I'm going to choose Install. Now I'm presented with an overview of the software that I've chosen to install. You can see that my system is going to require some prerequisites. I'm going to install Application Server and then I'm going to install Unified Client. Go ahead and click Install. Now I've got a list of all the prerequisites that are required to be installed in my system. I'm going to go ahead and choose this checkbox here to agree to the third party software licenses and click Install. Once all my prerequisites have been installed, the final review screen will appear again and you can see that Application Server is highlighted and it is beginning to install. We're first presented with a welcome screen which I'm going to click Next. I'm going to agree to the license and click Next. Happy with my username and the typical install. This screen allows me to select the database server which I'm installing on. Because I've just installed SQL, it is choosing this database server. I'm happy with that, so I'm going to keep it. Click Next. I'm happy with my local system account. And here is a summary of all the options that I've chosen. So you can see the destination folder, server type, and SQL Server. I'm going to begin the installation by selecting Install. At this stage, I don't want to configure IIS, so I'll click No. Once the Application Server Setup Wizard has completed the install, you'll be presented with this screen. At this stage I don't want to open the licensing application so I'm going to uncheck that checkbox and I'm going to click finish. And the final review screen will then move to installing Victor Unified Client. And the first selection is which language I would like to install it in. I'm happy with English United States as my option. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And on the Victor welcome screen going to click next. I'm going to agree to the license and click next. I'm happy with the default destination folder so I'm going to click next. This screen allows me to choose some further installation options. As you can see by default client, the language packs and Tyco update client are installed and secure integration and Victor POS is not installed. I'm happy with those default settings so I'm going to click next. And I'm happy to use this computer as my application server as I've just installed it. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that selected and click Next. And then click Install on the summary screen. Victor will now begin to install and when it's completed this screen will display. I'm going to go ahead and click Finish to go back into the Unified Installer dashboard which will then advise me that my installation is complete.